What's up guys and welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we're going to be slaying a gorgeous loose wave HD lace wig courtesy of YG Wigs. Now this is the packaging and how the wig comes straight out of the box. The curl pattern on this wig is absolutely beautiful. It came with some baby hair and this is also the inside construction of the cap. It's 150% density, 22 inches in length and then the dimensions is 13 by 4 as far as the lace goes. When the wig was put on my head it fit nice and snug but of course they included an elastic band. I always find that when you sew your own elastic band into your wig you'll get the best glueless fit whereas you know sometimes the wig will come with the elastic band those don't really hold the wig as secure I mean anything helps but those definitely aren't as good as sewing your own wig in or your own elastic band into your wig now this is what the hairline looks like although it did come with baby hair it did not come pre-plucked so you definitely will have your work cut out for you as far as making the front look realistic I did include clips of me thinning my hairline out but honestly I didn't go as far as I could have but you'll see in just a moment how I finessed and made the wig look as amazing as you guys seen in the thumbnail here also is a look at what the wig looks like when you part it down the center. I think it definitely can look great if you go in and, you know, stamp it out with that electric hot comb or a little bit of mousse. And then also, this is what the wig looks like on the side. You definitely don't get like the deep parting on the side, which is okay. You know, you just kind of have to already know what styles, you know, you can do. It definitely can still be versatile. Now I'm going to go in and tweeze out the hairline as much as possible. Now I didn't go in as much as I could have, but I definitely took my time and I probably spent about 30 minutes tweezing out the hairline. Now of course I did not keep all of that footage in. You'll kind of see the progress of what it started from to like how it finishes. And I definitely did put in work. My wrist was hurting so bad. Pro tip, when tweezing out the hairline, always be sure to part it in different areas. You want to tweeze out the very front, you want to tweeze out behind where the baby hair will be, and sometimes it's cool to even go back a little bit further. That way the appearance will be a lot more gradient, especially when you're working with a wig that is a little bit more dense in the front like this one. As you guys can see, I am using my electric hot comb. Some people would just use water and wet the hair. Because the wig is on my head and then I have on makeup, I really didn't want to use water and risk it running down and ruining my makeup so that's why a lot of times you will see me using the, using the electric hot comb I just find that it helps to pretty much relax the hair at the root to make it easier to see like exactly what I need to tweeze and also just make it easier to pull out of the lace as well without you know ripping a hole in it and as you guys can see I'm going back and forth in different sections and just tweezing until I feel comfortable with what I have again I could have went further and you know went much 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 more into detail but I'm still pleased with my results Next up, I'm going to tint the lace. You guys know me. I kind of do a cheat sheet and use a foundation that's in my complexion on a foundation brush. And then I buff it into the lace. I use about three to four pumps and typically that's enough. If you feel like you want more of a, like an opaque appearance, you can definitely load in more. Also, be sure to blow dry it. I use a hot setting just to go in and stamp that out and set it because you want it to pretty much be on the lace and not wet because you don't want, you know, foundation over your forehead and it just will be a much messier install if you don't um, blow dry it first now at this point I had in my head decided that I was going to do a no part no baby hair kind of like flawless frontal install and that is why you've seen me put the hairspray at the hairline and here I am pressing it out also I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace after I went ahead and installed it which you'll see in just a moment I kind of felt like it wasn't um how do you say it? like tweezed out enough or gradient enough to pull it off and it be flawless so I did decide to go in with some baby hair and you'll see also how flawless that actually ended up looking 
This is a glueless install, but we are using a holding spray to go ahead and bond the wig down. So sometimes when you say glueless install, you literally mean no glue, no gel, no hairspray, no application at all. Literally the wig is just sitting on your head, maybe with an elastic band, and that is the only support you have. And then sometimes you say glueless and what you mean is no glue, but you are using a holding spray, which technically is not a glue. Um, so there are there there's levels to this. This one here is glueless, but as you guys can see I am blonding bonding it down from ear to ear with a holding spray and I like to blow dry it with a cool setting here I was being lazy so I did blow dry on a hot setting which is why the hairline is not as flawless and you can kind of see that product also if you're gonna add hairspray like I did to the hairline don't add it until after you bond the wig down the reason is you guys can see how messy my application looks it's because the hairspray kind of mixed with the the um the holding spray for that i used which was sebastian shapers mixed with the hairspray that i used to bond the wig down and it just didn't agree so the sebastian's pretty much made it a little bit more white and flaky you'll see that once you finish like pretty much doing your baby hair and all that all that I cancel out so don't be worried don't try to go in with like a wet rag and clean it up literally if you're gonna add baby hair it's gonna go away by default Now, honestly, I was having a little bit of trouble with the baby hair. Um, it was just hard to make it thin without making it look bald. So it was kind of like it was too thick, but when I would pull it back, I didn't like it. This just kind of was one of those nights where it just really wasn't my night. Now, ultimately, I love the way it came out, and you'll see at the very end when I do a little show and tell, you'll see how beautiful the wig came together. But like, I was trying to go for like arrogant Tay baby hair where it was like, you know, like a more Jada with that baby hair all the way around the front, but it wasn't given a more Jada. It was given like ghetto bonquisha or something like that and that's one of the things i always say whenever you're getting frustrated with your baby hair just go ahead and stamp it out and do the best you can go ahead and set it with an elastic band or a scarf and then come back later come back the next day and you'll be able to go in and thin it out um you know again once you've kind of had a chance to look at it and see it for what it really is and then you know like day two you can go in and like make improvements after just kind of sitting on it and getting rid of all the frustration and relaxing. Now that we've done that, we have the elastic band on to set the hairline and the baby hair. I went in and just wet the hair really, really good. And then I'm gonna go in with this newer product that I've been using, which is the Tresemme. I don't remember the name. But of course, it's linked in the description box and pretty much is advertised as a styling cream. It's meant for curls to help define them. It smells really, really good. Like after you've done your hair, as you've like move around, you bend over to pick something up, you're going to smell this beautiful smell. And that's what I love. I feel like when I use mousse, a lot of the times it doesn't have a strong enough scent. Whereas I like when I use like a conditioner and it has a strong scent. Also going into the fall and winter seasons, I feel like a cream is better than a mousse in kind of combating the elements the rain and all of that keeping the frizz down here you can see whenever I had no baby hair and then in the end I'm gonna go back to baby hair again because again I was just indecisive this day okay so I'm pretty much done with the look now I was determined to do a no part but flip over situation in the last clip that you've seen I kind of had it all more so like kind of going up but like more so attention just like going like this whole section here was like flat and kind of going that way and it almost felt like it didn't match the length of the hair now obviously the hair is still damp so once it dries and it gets back fluffy it's going to be a different story but it just didn't look natural i feel like when i do like a flip over or maybe hair, you still got to see some kind of like parting or something like that so i was getting a little bit frustrating and wasting a way too much footage it's going to be way too much footage to edit because i kept like going back and forth i wasn't a hundred percent satisfied with the look so you guys seen I took away the baby hair I was about to do a half up half down and then off camera I went ahead and just made the center part so that I can kind of stamp it out with the, the um, hot comb and then I added back a little bit of baby hair a little more bit of baby hair and then after I pretty much made it and set it to be a center part with like my normal routine 
I pulled it more so backwards. Instead of pushing it to side, I pushed it backwards. Now, obviously, I wish I would have gotten, you know, that on camera. But again, I was just getting a little bit frustrated because I wasn't getting the vibe that I wanted. And I didn't want to just give up and be like, oh, this is the look. I wanted to be happy with it. As far as the length of the hair, I did go for a new Earth product that I've never used on this channel. This one comes from Tresemme and this is the Curl Hydrate. Um, and you guys see when I poured it into my hand, it's a cream. Reminds me of basically a plain old conditioner. It gives me Tresemme vibes. It smells like majority of the Tresemme products I use. You guys know a lot of times I'll use the Tresemme Moisture. I think it's called the Moisture Rich Conditioner. And that smells a little different but kind of similar along the lines. Like I can tell it's definitely Tresemme with the scent. I can't remember how much this one was. But I'm kind of feeling like it was probably under 5 bucks. But at the same time again, if you want this, you might as well just get the um, Big Conditioner. But... Now you know, it's like they literally put the big conditioner in here. Now it may, what I will say, this is thicker than um, the big bottle or the conditioner, the moisture rich conditioner. So maybe it's a little bit more concentrated to be thicker so that you have to use less product if that makes sense. So I feel like it's the same thing, but like the thickness of this one is equivalent to a big bottle of the other if that makes any sense so for that reason i do like it and i'm not saying i wouldn't buy it again i'm definitely going to use up this bottle because again you guys know i love the moisture rich conditioner in general so i like this too it's just a matter of do i want to buy this bottle and use less of it for my curls or the big bottle where i you know will have to use a little bit more but you get a bigger bottle so that's that on that. As far as the packaging goes, I showed you guys in the beginning that the wig came in a bag like this, as well as this box here. And of course, they included the goodies. They did include my clips, which you guys know, I have a collection of those. They gave me a comb, baby hair brush with the comb on the other end. The, I love blue, blue is my favorite color. So I like the fact that I got a blue one. I've never had one in that cuter periwinkle style blue. And then a pack of wig caps. And then they gave this little sandwich bag, this mini sandwich bag. And in it, there are two combs, the combs that are kind of cooked into the nape. And then the elastic band so that you can make the wig glueless. So let me know what you guys think of this one. Again, this one did come from YG Wigs. You guys know I work with this company all the time. So it's no question. I do love their wigs and I do believe they hold up pretty well. Link in description box if you are interested in checking this wig out. Also, as always, everything I use to complete this look on my own, my flat iron and hot tools and blow dryers and product, even the new product that I um, use is in the description box if you're interested in checking out it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Ashley B. Dank. If you did not already know, go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. We are on a road to 300,000 and it will help me out so much. Smooches!